Hello my valuable friends and welcome back. I'm Tutevik and today we're going to talk about how to stop playing games, how to stop manipulating to get what you want and how to become more authentic and real you and actually ask for what you want and communicate your desires. In other words, how to have more authentic connections instead of lying or pretending or trying to get something from each other we have to stop playing games we have to stop this because we are going over the board and both genders are losing before i start let me remind you that i do one-to-one -one sessions you can purchase my book luxury products that i sell and online courses that i propose all the links are below now, it's very interesting why women and men think that they are enemies of a foreign countries. It's like it's war between the genders, between men and women. There are channels and books and movies that talk about that men is the most important. And then other side says women is the most important. Man is the head, a woman is a head. Man is the main, a woman is the main. And like, it's a war between genders. Yet, have you ever realized that actually we are created for each other? For each other. Not for against each other. For each other. Men and women are created to be in a relationship with each other. Men and women are created to love each other be with each other, marry each other, make love to each other, have children with each other, build families with each other. So all this game that you all are playing, continue playing, continue. But it's leading you nowhere and it's leaving you dry and sad and lonely and upset. I don't see any benefit. When you come to the restaurant and I'm cooking the food for you, I'm the chef. I'm cooking the food for you. If you don't like it, it's not my problem. I made the best food. I'm a chef. So I'm a chef in here. I'm cooking. This is my restaurant. Yes, this is a luxury place. Okay. This is not the five stars. This is not seven stars. This is 17 stars. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the luxury that you have never experienced before in your life. So I'm not playing games to convince you, to earn you, to beg you, to draw you to me. You're drawn to me by my aura, by my energy, by my beauty, by my femininity, by my confidence, by my knowledge, by my experience, by my ability to present it in a beautiful way. I don't need to earn and I don't need to beg and I don't need to play games. And I'm doing this video so I can help at least one woman to stop playing games at least one man stop manipulating women at least if one woman and one man can stop using each other then they can find happiness number one what i want to discuss is understand what is the core reason for you playing games what's the root understand the root of uh, games most of all of us who play games uh, this is trauma response i will explain you see if you're an emotionally healthy person there's nothing wrong with you you will less likely play games because emotionally you're very stable you're very grounded you're very confident it's very fundamentally correctly made there's nothing wrong so emotionally, no one abused you, no one used you, no one harmed you, so you do not have trauma. Because you don't have a trauma, emotionally, mentally, intellectually, you are healthy. Healthy person is not going to harm other people because he or she is healthy. If you are playing games, let me tell you, you are ill. Emotionally, you are ill. A healthy, normal person who everything is good, is happy, is content with his life. I'm not going to go outside and harm people, manipulate, steal, scam. 
I can't even think about those things. I can't think about those things because it's unnatural. If this dress is blue, you can talk with me and say this is yellow. As much as you want, you can talk. I will say thank you so much for watching. <laughs> bye bye. I will not communicate with you because obviously you do not understand this is blue, royal blue. Have you seen this kind of fabric? What yellow? What are you talking about? But I'm not going to convince you that this is blue. I will leave you there with you thinking that it's yellow. And I will say, okay, people are different. Maybe people see colors differently. People, some people are color blind. It's okay. Good luck to you. But I'm not going to stand there and prove my point because I'm too healthy. So when you are ill, you have wounds, you have trauma, you want to harm. It's like, you know, wounded person walking and so much sadness, so much pain, so much hurt that it's leaking out of him pain and hurt. You cannot give something you don't have. Out of abundance of the heart, the fruits are. Abundance, what you have basically in your heart is going to come outside. What do you think my channel is about? What do you think my videos are about? My books, my courses. I love my courses. If I can become another person just to come and purchase my courses, I would do it. Because there is so much love. There is so much kindness. So much, so much authenticity. No playing. No manipulating. No intriguing. No trying to get seduced. Seduce what? Who? Why? I'm class. I don't seduce. I'm too classy for that. I'm an elegance. I don't seduce. I don't impress. You're impressed just because I am. What I want you to understand is that playing games is a lost tactic means whatever you want to do, you are still going to lose. So what's the point to play a game where you know that you're going to lose? When you're playing games, it means that you are traumatized. Maybe someone that you were dating did something to you and now you thought, oh, me, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to use all men. I'm going to let them buy me things, take me places, and I'm not going to love them. I'm not going to commit to them. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to be with other men. This is what you're saying. This is trauma. Someone hurt you. Now let me go and hurt everyone else. This is exactly what women do nowadays. You know, I personally think that men definitely has to be ambitious. Men definitely need to support his woman. I definitely need to pay for everything. Not because uh, women don't have money, but because that's just being a man. Taking care of me. Looking after me. Spoiling me. It's not that I expect it. I don't even discuss this. This is normal. It's like breathing the air. What do you think? A Middle Eastern guy is going to take me on a date and force me to pay? Never. They will feel disrespected even if I take my wallet. You know what is actually meaning if I go on a date that I really respect the man? Is when I don't have anything with me. When I don't have my bag with me. When I don't have my wallet with me. That means I really respect you. That means I submit to you. I surrender to you. Look, I'm coming empty-handed. I have so much trust in you that you will take care of me. Because I look at you as a man. I respect you. And they can see I come empty-handed. They know, wow, what kind of girl is this? Not trying to make me feel less than. She respects me as a man. They pay me because they, uh, the, they pay for me for the dinner or flowers, whatever. Because they feel masculine. Because they love that I respect them. But I don't play games for them to pay for me. I don't beg. I don't create situations that I forgot my wallet. I never say something like this. Why would I? That's below me. That doesn't even qualify. Imagine I go on a date like this. Oh, hi, how are you? Oh, it's so nice. Thank you so much for bringing me to this restaurant. This is lovely. You don't imagine how much I love actually going out. You do not imagine all my dresses, all my jewelry. Oh my God, I love going out. Who's going to take me out? I love that. So when he takes me out, I enjoy, I soak in that experience. Oh my God, thank you so much for bringing me here. It's so lovely. I love it. And look at that ambience. Oh, this food. Oh my God. Oh, you like my jewelry? Yes, I'm wearing for you. So it's all lovely. It's all genuine. Not like, hmm and thinking what I can get from him.
I don't need to get anything from him. My, uh, my, in my mind, my long-term uh, goal is to marriage, is to get married with him, is, is marriage, is kids, is my family. I'm not trying to get anything from him. I'm trying to get to know if he's right for me. So me playing games with him is already his failure mechanism that will lead me not for a marriage, not towards the marriage, but towards finish line where I finish alone, where there is no man. So understand the reason and the, the, the root why you're doing it. It's actually your trauma. Someone hurt you and now you're hurting someone else. I met a man that he was with a woman and she hurt him. And now he's not having serious relationship with anyone. He's just using women, just, you know, being intimate with them. Yes, paying for them, but he doesn't want to commit to anyone because he's so hurt, so bitter that one woman hurt him. Now everyone needs to suffer. When I met him, I right away understood what it is. I was like, oh, this is not for me. And I, I withdrew myself. I never spoke because i can feel this is a hurt person so i'm not going to participate in that you know pain so what is your trauma why are you doing this now the second part what i want you to understand is to understand the purpose so there is a reason why you're doing it because you're a trauma but the purpose of playing games actually is to manipulate it's to get something it's to steal. It's to kind of maneuver things around and um, uh, get things in dishonest way. Like hiding, like in a darkness, like quietly, like scamming. So playing games, um, the, re the purpose that you are doing it, it's actually you are trying to manipulate things. You do not think that you deserve things. You don't think that you're worthy of those things. You're so you're trying to sneak quietly so no one can see in the dark with your maneuvers, how to text him this, 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 how to call, how to follow, go where he is. <laughs> this is so funny. And you know what's interesting? Very mature and very intelligent people see through you. They see what you're doing and it disgusts them. It does. Like when someone is trying to play games, my reaction is like, <laughs> okay, have a lovely day. And I, I'm gone. I have a little sadness, little disappointment, but I'm gone. You playing games with who? With me? Do you know who I am? You don't. That's exactly why you're playing games. Because if you would understand who I am, you would not play games with me. Because you can see this is quality, this is elegance, this is luxury, this is this is beautiful woman. What games? I'm beautiful, by the way. I mean inside and outside. Not only outside. Outside, of course, not beautiful. This is this is this is beautiful. Is not the right word. Is there? Can someone make a word for my beauty? Actually, please let me know. This is gorgeousness. <laughs> So uh, playing games, the purpose that you're doing it is because you're trying to actually fix your childhood. Some parent, maybe both parents, didn't give you love, didn't accept you, didn't validate you. Now you play games. At work you play games. With your neighbors you play games. So they earn you. They call you but you don't answer. It's like, you see how luxurious I am. I don't pick up the phone. They laugh at you. You don't pick up the phone. Okay, you're not coming with us to the park. It's like kids' things you're doing. If all your neighborhood is going to the park to celebrate something and they're going to have a firework and you're not answering the call, do you think you are going to like do something? You are the one who's going to lose. You're going to stay home. Everyone is going to enjoy that time. They don't care. So playing games is just a lost tactic, which leads nowhere, leads your head to hit on the wall. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you deliberately walk to the wall and hit your head? I don't understand. So think about it. When you play games, what is the purpose of you doing that? It's you're trying to look for validation. You think that you're actually not good enough. You know, your self-esteem is actually so low. I can't even see. It's below the ground. It's below this house. It's so low. That you think that the only way you are going to earn anything or get anything from life or from some people is by playing games. I'm going to wait for three hours to respond. 
for me it doesn't matter if you know me well i'm not a phone person i if i need to do something on my phone like of course i'll be on the phone but in general you can ask men who date me ask if she's using her phone on a date no if he asks me to show something and i need to show a picture yes i'll take the phone but in general no you will never see me actually i turn my phone down with a face down and it's always on a silent because there are no such thing as emergencies they say emergency how many times do you have an emergency in your life maybe once in 20 years so when i go on a date even when i'm with my friends even when i go alone the phone is down i don't need to be on the phone so i'm not pretending that i'm busy i actually am fulfilled with my life so if a, a man is texting me and i'm not texting three hours or five hours it's not because i'm counting hours and i have alarm no it's because i'm actually doing something maybe i'm taking a bath for two hours and i'm watching a movie in my bath and eating my fruits maybe i'm doing my makeup for three hours and i'm fixing my hair maybe i'm in a salon and they're doing my nails maybe i'm actually sleeping maybe i'm taking a shower maybe i'm cooking maybe i'm talking uh, with my friend on the skype and it's not on my phone but it's on my ipad maybe i'm watching a movie and my phone is charging on a silent it doesn't matter but if i don't answer it's not because i don't want to answer it's because i'm doing something else and you know there was a man that i was talking to and he would not answer two days and then he, when he would text me in my mind i thought okay if i do two days it's like i'm playing games exactly like he is and i i was so vulnerable and i was so open my heart was so open i did not do any of this he would text me after two days and i will answer in four or five hours i don't care this is who i am if you contact me and i see it of course i'll answer if i want to talk to you but i didn't do this oh you didn't talk to me two days i'm not going to talk to you two days i don't care about those kind of things i would not stay in a relationship for a long time two three times he did it like this and then the relationship fade away because he can see that i'm not playing games so he got bored no one to play games with and i showed him i'm authentic i'm open i'm vulnerable I don't, need, I don't have anything to hide for. So the purpose that you are playing games, understand the purpose, is that you're actually looking for acceptance and validation. You are actually begging, please see me, please hear me. And you're actually very hurt. It's like a little baby. And it's it's very sad. So ask yourself, what? why am I playing these games? Is it really worth it? Don't I deserve to not even deserve but am i not worthy to have normal healthy relationships is that is this what i am here for my parents went through things their parents went through three the things i had so many trials and tribulations in my life and this is the reason for me to went through all that to sit here and play a game with someone that's why i always tell to people that i don't recommend people meeting on online dating apps I don't have any online dating apps doesn't matter if i'm single or i'm in a relationship i will never have because that's not for me this kind of person do you think i will ever be in online dating apps and the reason that you all are playing these games is because you have too much time too much free options and you are so delusional in your mind that you think that all these hundred people or i don't know how many it is that you are seeing online that you can choose from that they're all for you they don't care about you as you are playing games they are playing games as you have five six people on your phone they have five six people on your phone where have been these times when people date each other and it's one person talking to one person getting to know each other for a sense of a marriage so what's the purpose i don't understand to date someone that is not leading to a marriage any men that i've ever dated i've dated with one purpose to get to know them to see if i can get married with them i never dated because i wanted fun I don't do fun fun for me it's having laughter going to the nice places fun for me is not being intimate with someone that i don't know that's what doesn't matter you can kiss me you can kiss my neck you can kiss my hands you can kiss my feet you can hug me you can cuddle me i'm not going to be intimate with you because you're not my husband and that's it that's end of the story so i don't play games that called standards and certain boundaries that you cannot cross doesn't matter how much i like you so you playing games is actually giving your body away and unnecessarily being on online dating apps and being disposable dressing openly and showing that you are desperate playing games counting he wrote 10 words i will write nine words i never do that a man will send me a voice note for maybe one minute 
and I have actually what to say. And maybe mine is actually 30 seconds. Or if I don't have what to say, or if I have what to say, maybe mine will be two minutes. So it doesn't matter. It's sometimes less than he sent. Sometimes it's the same. Sometimes it's more. Sometimes I can send an attachment or her video. If I'm doing something, if I'm on a cruise, if I'm sailing, I'll show us, look, you will like this. It's so beautiful. Look at this. I'm a sailing. Look at this beauty. Look at this rainbow. Look at this ocean. So I'll send the video. So I've done more than he did. But in that moment, it was appropriate. So if you're sitting there and counting and trying to be always do less, no, sometimes you, it's not about doing less. It's just what is appropriate. If you're asking me, how are you? I can't say, fine, you, okay, I did less. <laughs> I won. No, I will say, I'm amazing. You know, I just got this new dress. I love it. I'm like a little doll. I look like a princess. I love it so much. How's your day? And then he will say, you know, I'm doing this with my business and I'm going to write a book and I'm going to be like a big man. And I'm like, oh my God, this sounds amazing. You can do it. So it's a communication. It's just a flirt. It's back and forth. But there is no games. Stop playing games. You are playing yourself. Do you want to end up alone? Continue playing games. Continue. It's not, it doesn't benefit you. You understand? It's a lost game. Basically, it means whatever you do, you're going to lose. And the third that I want to um, discuss today, which is actually the most important part from this video, is to understand the alternative. So now we understood the root, you know, the reason why you're playing games, the trauma. The second we discussed that we need to understand what is actually the purpose that you're trying to look for validation, you're actually very, you know, you want love, but you don't know how to express that because you don't have in childhood. So you're looking at it in a wrong way. You know, when kids, they don't get, uh, they can't get love in a normal way. They become like a bad kids. They do something in school. So parents pay attention to them. So school teachers talk about them. You know, they're trying to get validation, but it's a wrong way. It's going to backfire and you're still going to end up alone. So stop it. I'm telling you, stop it. I speak with so many women that call me and cry. I was playing these games and I was doing this and then he left me. I said, because you were playing games. And I hear from a lot of women that they say that men are playing games with them. Not talking to a woman for a couple of months, a couple of weeks, not answering to her messages when you know that she cares about you. I care about you. You're not answering to me. Okay, I will reach out. I will check on you. Of course I will. I'm a human. I'm very kind. I'm very generous with my love. I have open heart towards you, but if you're not going to answer to me, I will disappear from your life like I've never existed. But I'm not going to play your game because I don't play games. Um, so understanding the alternative, the third part of the video, is you have to understand that there is a healthy alternative. How to get your needs met, how to get your desires, how to get things that you want or experiences that you wish to experience. Whatever you are seeking wants you to find it. So you don't need to manipulate. If this dress is created to be sold, beautiful. This dress doesn't need to play games for me to buy it. This dress is just there in the shop. So I walk in and I see the dress and I love the dress and I buy the dress. There is a natural cause and effect. This dress is created for me to buy it. The same way I believe that a woman should not approach a man. Woman should just be, exist, walk in, mm, nice, smiling, happy, calm, collected. Is not laughing loud. Is not trying to make noise with her nails to clap loud. Is not trying to get attention. Look, I'm seducing. No, I just walk. Hello, how are you? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Nice and cordial with everyone. Sit down. May I please have some juice? I don't drink alcohol. May I please have some juice? Okay, that's great. Mm, this is so lovely in here. That's it. That's all woman needs to go if she goes out. And then the right man who thinks that he can afford to be with her, and by afford, I don't mean only, you know, by financially, but afford mentally and physically and emotionally. You have to be able to handle this woman. If you are coming to Rolls Royce, you have to be able to have Rolls Royce. You have to be able. A lot of people look at Rolls Royce. I was coming out and um, you know how the Rolls Royce, both the car door open and people are all looking and they're all staring. And I was thinking, staring is great, but how many of you can actually afford this car? 
Everyone can stare at you, but how many people can actually afford to be with you? It takes a lot to be with a very beautiful woman, very loving woman, very marriage material type of a woman. I'm not for fun. I'm not a girlfriend. I'm a wife. Can you handle? No. Okay, great. Then we are not talking. We're not playing games. It's, it's clear communication. So the alternative of playing games is actually to be incredibly open, incredibly authentic, incredibly real, incredibly true. I'm a wife material. I want only marriage because it's time for me to take care of my kids to have kids, to build a family, to decorate my house. You know how I love to make everything beautiful. It's time for me to be a wife. It's time for me to be in a beautiful, comfortable house, have a beautiful car, have my beautiful, loving husband, have my beautiful, happy, healthy kids. It's time for me. So you can come and tell me whatever you want to tell me. I will not be able to hear you because there is one programming in my mind. Marriage, 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 marriage. This is all I have in here. So I don't need to play games to earn and get and deserve what I want. I go in every room. My body language, my clothing is communicating wife material. So do I need to manipulate men to marry me, to propose me, to be with me? No. I got a lot of proposals in my life. It's not a big deal to get proposed. But the reason they could propose because they saw that she's not going to tolerate anything else. Many men I was attracted to, but I was not physical with them. Not because I couldn't. I'm adult. I can do whatever I want. And they were very handsome. But because I knew that doesn't run with my programming. Why would I be intimate with you if you're not my husband? What have you done for me? How can I trust you? You can walk out of me tomorrow and then what? So the reason I'm telling you is that you can find healthy alternatives. And healthy alternative of stop playing games and manipulating is actually being a real, vulnerable, open, authentic self. Without trying to impress, without trying to beg, without trying to chase certain things, without pretending. Playing games is pretending. If you call me and if I see you're calling me, I will answer. Promise this to yourself next time. If a man or a woman texts me and I see her text and I can't answer, I will answer. If they invite me on a date and I am free that day, I'm not going to play. Oh, just let's play busy. I've never done that. A man will tell me, let's meet Wednesday and let's meet then uh, Saturday night. Let's go out with my friends. I'll say, sure, I'm free. Let's go. I would love to. And he will be inviting me again and again and again. I was not playing games. I'm busy on Saturdays. But I'm not busy on Saturday. What's the point to lie? I want to go out with him. I want to meet his friends. I love to go. Why not? So you pretending to be someone else, it's actually devaluing your own worth. And it's actually making you a sad little child that needs to pretend to earn mommy's love, daddy's love, sister's love or brother love. And you project that childhood this little baby from childhood goes to the adulthood and it's still pretending and trying to earn love. Stop earning love. Stop pretending. And learn to be authentic you. So today what we learned that we have to stop all these playing games. Please stop all this manipulation. It's just, it's, it's kindergarten level. A person who respects herself or himself will never do that. So stop playing games. Understand the root cause is your trauma. Understand the purpose that you're looking for validation and love as a child that you didn't get and understand that there is an alternative. An alternative is stop pretending and be yourself. Be the real you. People will love that. We are so fake nowadays. Everything is fake. Have you noticed? So stop being fake. Stop playing games and promise to yourself, I'm going to shine my true light. And if someone likes me, great. If they don't like me, that's great too means it's not my person. So thank you so much for watching. I want to remind you, be real, be authentic you, and remember to smile today and enjoy your real authentic life.